Shawnee State University Cell Biology presents The Dynamic Instability of Microtubules by Jenny Kearns, Megan Steinhauer, and Sonia Porter. What is a microtubule? A microtubule is a component of the cytoskeleton and can be found throughout the cytoplasm. What is tubulin and what are the different kinds? Tubulin is a globular protein it is a dimer that is composed of alpha tubulin and beta tubulin. Microtubules can undergo rapid cycles of growth and shrinkage. This is called the dynamic instability of microtubules. Each alpha and beta in the tubulin dimer is bound to a GTP. The GTP bound to the alpha tubulin is for structure and it will not be hydrolyzed. The GTP on the beta tubulin will be hydrolyzed after it's added on to the microtubule. Growing and shrinking is determined by two things. It's a comparison between the rate the tubulin dimer is added on and the rate the GTP is hydrolyzed. You can see in our microtubule that each alpha tubulin is bound to a GTP. The two inside beta tubulins are bound to a GDP. This is because whenever the new tubulin dimer was added, the GTP was hydrolyzed to the GDP. Our last beta tubulin dimer on our positive end is bound to a GTP. This forms what is called the GTP cap. Whenever a new tubulin dimer comes in, it will attach to the positive end and the GTP will be hydrolyzed to a GDP. This causes the microtubule to grow. This is called rescue. Now we have a new GTP cap. So a new tubulin dimer can come in, add on to the positive end, and the GTP on the GTP cap will be hydrolyzed to a GDP. Now whenever the rate of a tubulin dimer being added is slowed down, the GTP on the GTP cap will eventually be hydrolyzed to a GDP before a new tubulin dimer is added. When this happens, the microtubule starts coming apart. This is called catastrophe. Once the microtubule comes apart, it'll start going through rescue again, and it will start growing. We'll have a new GTP cap. A new tubulin dimer will come in, attach to the positive end, and the GTP will be hydrolyzed to a GDP. And this will continue to happen until the microtubule starts shrinking again. microtubule is coming out of a centrosome, and these microtubules go through this, growing and shrinking, at different rates and at different times. So as one microtubule grows, another one shrinks, and this is happening all around the centrosome. It's a random movement that is constantly occurring. Dynamic instability plays an important role in processes such as the intracellular transport of organelles, cancer research, separation of chromosomes during mitosis, and remodeling the cytoskeleton during mitosis.